Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Right, let's go free our friend. Gee, who would have thunk this would how this would be how we'd have to accomplish such a delicate looking task? Uh, yeah, don't look at me like that, can't be. Supposed to get our gun out. Oh, okay. Apparently, you don't get too close to it because that's instant death. Cool. I mean, why wouldn't it be, right? Uh, right, let's grab that and a bottle. And then, I hope this doesn't hurt too much, Sarah. Yeah. If in doubt, throw explosive bottles at it. And then we have to do this silly, pointless mini game to bring her back to life for reasons. Um. Um. Okay, you just have to hold it for a very long time. Apparently, there we go. One, two. Come on, Sarah! Don't die on me. That would be awful. Six, I guess. Seven, be truly eight. terrible. Ah, uh, you should have... Uh, I wish I still had some of my commentary, actually, from the first time I actually played this. When I was first doing this bit, I was like, God, are you absolutely serious? Oh, God. It was sucking the life from me. Uh-huh. Inside, I was connected to something. Sounds painful. To me. It's okay. It's over now. Well. You're safe. I could feel it. Something primal. I know what you meant now. I feel what you feel. And of course they fall in love because I mean that's just standard horror trope 101. I thought I told you not to take advantage of the situation. Well, I don't think he's the only one taking advantage of the situation. Yep. Big mama bitch flying around outside. Wander off anywhere. I won't be long. Yeah. You'll never be alone again, Carnby. Okay. Or something. Okay. Right. So now Carnby's excited because he's got himself, you know. Parasites? Ah, oh, I won't worry too much about these. Uh let's grab this. This is actually a gas bottle. The great thing about this is we can catch it on fire. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going <laughs> to... Ouch! Oh, can we actually set her on fire? I don't think we can. That would be quite funny. Yeah, uh, this thing lasts indefinitely. Which is pretty cool. We can just continue roasting these things. Like making popcorn in a way. Monster corn, if you will. Alright, now... Unfortunately, with these little... Oh. Okay, I guess it does eventually run out. Which is unfortunate. Alright, stay away from Sarah. I mean, she's invincible, so she doesn't have to worry about anything that much. But, my god. Aha. There we go. Burn these little pod things, because that's where they come from. I think there's actually quite a few of these pod things around here. There's definitely more than two. But they might actually be further up, perhaps. Now, you definitely want to burn all these little fucking bastards, because they will... Oh, right, okay. They will be a pain in your balls, put it that way. Right, um, now, let's get our magnum out. And our magnum has stayed thus far, which is good. Because... I don't really want to be relying on that 9mm. I mean, only having like 8 bullets, it, it doesn't sound like much of a difference, but it really is when you've got to constantly go in and out of your inventory all the fucking time, man. Come on, Carnby, old boy. Get up there. We have fuckery to spread. There we go. Right, okay, cool. Now, let's get the torch out. Ooh, evening. Definitely want to frag you. 
Uh, oh yeah, there's loads of wood here. How do you think we get around the wood, guys? If you thought we burn it with fire, you'd be correct. Because that's all you do in this game. Set fire to things. Obstacle? Set fire to it. Enemy? Set fire to it. Big ugly thing? Throw exploding fire bombs at it. Rinse and repeat for, you know, like 12 hours or so. Uh, find evil roots that aren't going to be in this playthrough. Set fire to them. Yeah, they definitely could have done, like, a lot more with those evil roots. They could have made them, or roots of evil, I should say. They could have actually made them fun. But, you know. I guess that would have been asking too much. God damn, these take a long time to burn out, too. I don't think we can speed the process up. No. Or maybe we can. Maybe we can speed the process up. No. No, we can't. We just have to stand here and wait for the fire to burn out. That's okay. Now, I can hear loads more of those little parasite bastards, but I'm not quite sure where they are. Oh, come on! Honestly. Jesus. Ain't good all fucking day, Satan. Right, now. I assume it's Satan's fault. Everything's Satan's fault, right? Am I right? Okay, cool. Let's go. Hear more of those little squirty bastards. Ah. Ah. We have lasers. But they're not bad lasers. And more of these things as well. I guess this is what they're using those people for. Uh, Sarah. You can, like, come back this way now. Although we... Pr oh, no. Oh, no, she's in there, isn't she? Yeah. Ah, look, we've got some... Some of these. Okay. This one has bullets in. Bullets and tape. Actually, I think we're going to need tape. So let's grab a roll of tape. Because I'm pretty sure... Oi, you little shitty fucking dickhead. One thing I will show you, actually. Which I had to look up. Because there's an achievement for kicking these things. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But if you walk up to it and push A... Or is it, yeah, the attack button. When you don't have... Yeah, those parasites. You can play with that one. Yeah, if you run up to it... Without any weapon equipped, you can kick them. And there's an achievement for kicking one like ten times or something. Uh, we can also get water. Bottles of water from these vending machines. Uh, now, you'd probably assume that water has a use. It doesn't. It actually does not have a use in the slightest. Maybe you can put fire out with it? No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. So, there we go. I've just proved the point there. Water serves no purpose in this game. The only thing you, you use water for... Is, um, I've got to babysit somebody's cat. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The only thing you use water for is literally tipping it out and using the bottle to fill up with explosive flammable liquid. That's literally it. Right. I'm going to skip ahead, guys, and I will come back once I've done all that bullshit again. Okay. Cool. Right. What the hell's going on now? Apparently. Right, we need to have a little look at this medical kit. Yeah, not every day you get uh, the opportunity to babysit a kitten. And definitely would be all over that. Right. Let's grab some more bottles of flammable ooze. Ooh, and search these. Uh, flammable can. 
More flammable cans. Damn. Like, the only thing that exists in this world is flammable things. I can appreciate that. Now, there's a blood pack there. You can use it to distract little critters and things. Uh, essentially useless item. Like, big time useless item. They're literally... Like, worthless. Honestly. Wouldn't waste your time. Right, that took a lot out of that can. So, hopefully we're going to just sit around here for a while, and that will actually regenerate eventually. Uh, let's have a little look in these. We've got some bullets that we can take. Oh, yeah, we better take that as well. Just because we are going to need that coming up. Can't carry any more bullets. That sucks. I like carrying as many bullets as we can possibly hold. That's still not bloody come back yet. Actually, to be 100% honest with you, I don't know whether medical boxes restock, to be fair. So, yeah, that, that might be on me, actually. Anyway, let's go. Let's have a little wander down here and see what we can find. I know you can... Like I said, I know we can do this third-person mode, but... Like, the third person this game's pointless, because you can't even really fight in third person mode. So, ah, look. Look at this. We have to use the body dragging mechanic again. Ah, exciting. Hey, friendos. What do you think of my gun? Huh? What do you think of that? Makes short work of you little shit stains, doesn't it? Really, dude? Really? All right. So, what do we have around this corner? Lots and lots of... Oh, these things are called rats, with a Z, by the way. Oof. One hell of a rat's nest we have here. Luckily, there is one cure that I can think of. I mean, if you thought it was going to be anything other than throwing explosive bottles over there, you'd be mistaken. We see enemies, we throw explosive bottles at it. Are you getting it now? Are you getting this, the one trick pony of this game? Okay. Let's see if we can just thin the number out just a little bit. Uh, we are going to need to drop that for now though, because we need some rags. Because of course, we actually need to make some Molotovs here. Alright. Where's that little rat bastard? There you are. Come on, you fucking dickhead, if you think you're hard enough. Ah, I see. There's more of you, huh? There's always more. There's always more. Jesus. It's like a head crab. All right. Well, give me that. Give me that. Oh, actually, that was nearly stupid. You can't just throw Molotovs. <laughs> no, that'd be stupid. We need to equip the lighter as well to light them. You know. There we go. Molotov lit. Uh, really? Come on. Stop being little gits now. There we go. Well, that didn't land where the Ark said it would. Uh, can't say I've encountered that problem before. Luckily, we do have an awful lot of bullets. Okay, so, is there any rags around? I mean, this game is pretty good at always giving you what you need. I will... I will say that much in its favour. You know, if you're ever stuck on a puzzle, like, what particular type of bomb you need to make, of which is actually only really two, uh, the game will explain it. With the equipment that's actually laying around. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? Combine. We want you, and we want you. Cool. Let's light that sucker up. Come on. Not the easiest thing to do. There we go. That should create a chain reaction. It should kill most of them. I say should. You know. We're kind of at the mercy of the, the physics and the fire system, which is never a great place to be in this game. You never want to be at the mercy of the game's mechanics. Because they don't really work. 
That does look good, though. There is a hell of a lot of these things still in their mind. But that's not bad. Okay, I think we just about got past that bit. Cool. Let's see. More bullets. Yeah. Right, let's go see if we can find a med kit or something. Probably could be a good idea. And uh, there's another fairly identical kitchen with an awful lot of shit in it. Like, this is a very messy kitchen. Yeah, as you can see, there are lockers with unlimited supplies of what we are required to use. Uh, just in case we get stuck. Now, there is a knife there. I don't know what you'd use a knife for in this particular section. But, hey, there is one there. And I don't know why you keep Vodka in the fridge either. Uh, that's definitely something a little bit different. Now, we need to combine that. And we need... I guess we could drop... Maybe we've got 30% in the torch. Put a fresh battery in there. Batteries are one of the rarer things, to be 100% honest with you, but... Ah, we didn't want more tape. I mean, we can. Tape will stack up to 50, I think. So you can have, like, 50 pieces of tape in your pocket. Uh, you're never going to need 50 pieces of tape. Like, no, seriously, you're never going to need 50 pieces of tape. Like, at all. So, that'll do. Okay, because we actually need to make a sticky bomb for the next bit. Which, again, is one of the game's more interesting things, but I think we only actually have to use it a couple of times in the entire game. Okay, so, observe. A rat coming out of its nest. It drinks blood. And then goes back to its nest. How would we get past this little conundrum? I don't hear you ask. Well. We need to make a sticky Molotov. We have to get the timing pretty much spot on as well. Because. If we fuck this up. There we go. The rat doesn't actually care that it's got a Molotov burning down on its back. We Fuck this timing up. We have to do it again. No, nope, we're good. Okay. So, yeah, Molotov is basically a time bomb. Now, what do we have? Uh, let's go get the batteries back. Because, unlike most things in this game, the batteries are actually useful. Now, we can actually attach the torch to our jacket like that. And use other things whilst we have the torch out. Which is a really interesting and useful mechanic. Oh no. Now we are trapped. Or not. Ah, yes. Looks like we're coming up to another boss. Probably the hardest boss in the game. And just because I said the hardest boss in this game, I don't actually mean he's hard. I mean he's the hardest boss in this game. Right, let's just deal with as many of these fucking zombies, or sorry, humans as possible. There we go. See, that guy's only got one scar. He's just like a basic level one grunt human. And uh, we're empty. We're empty, boys! Nope. I wish there was an easier way of combining fuel with your bullets. I did wonder if later on in the game we would come across... Oh, Jesus Christ, my computer's just gone on a fucking song and dance. Um, yeah, I did wonder if we're going to find different bullets later on in the game, like fire-enhanced bullets or something. Uh, no. No, you don't. And actually, this isn't the boss area. I thought it was, but it's not. At least I don't think it is. Okay. Now, there's lots of swords. 
around this room. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking you can pick these swords up and use them as really cool badass weapons. You can't because you can't set the swords on fire. There's also like axes and little knives and things around. But yeah, like I said, unless you're using fire, you can't actually kill the enemies. So they are literally pointless in the game. You can't slice limbs off. You can't do anything cool like that at all. So don't let the game fool you into thinking you're about to have some fun. So I know when I first encountered this bit. Because I was wondering if we could actually wrap bandages around the sword. And set the sword on fire or something like that. No! No fun allowed. The closest to fun you get is throwing explosive bottles at enemies. Okay, that's your lot, I'm afraid. See an enemy, throw fire at it in one form or another. That is literally it, people. Ow! Fuck. I mean, I'm not quite sure how they thought they could stretch like a combat system for an entire game out of that. But, I mean, here we are. And we're out. Damn it. Yeah. There's definitely something in here screaming its little ass off, isn't there? Hmm. Definitely some salty monster somewhere. Well. I guess we're going to go throw explosive bottles at it until it dies. All right. Now, one thing that we are lacking at the moment in is explosive bottles. Also very difficult to ascertain how much health you have left without kind of trying desperately to look at your character and seeing how many wounds he has on him. But again, it's not exactly easy or user friendly. Are there no like bottles or anything around here? Do we use them all? Okay. Well, luckily, whenever you fight a boss, there's always plenty of everything that you need in the boss room, so it's no big deal, hey, I guess. Are you still here? Uh, talking to me? You talking to me? I guess he is, because we're the only fucker here. Uh, I guess so, dude. I guess I'm still here. I don't know what these are that are attached. These look like bones. This place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Really? Everywhere is dangerous tonight. Open the gate. I need to pass. Thanks. This gate has kept me alive. I'm so happy for you. How do I get to room 943? Well, follow this corridor behind me. I'll open the gate for you. Well, you're one of the good ones. No, that dialogue doesn't really make any sense. Open this gate. Yeah, you can try and get out of here. Yeah, so... He says... Open this gate. And he says, thanks. This gate has kept me alive for X amount of time. Why is he thanking us for op asking him to open the gate? Why are we asking ourselves these questions? Does it even matter? And that's why the torch is crap, because the battery's dead. Gee, must be nice on the PS3 version not to have to worry about batteries. <sighs> yeah, that's it. The PlayStation 3 version was called the Inferno Edition. Uh, it also had a whole host of bug fixes. That the uh, I don't know if the Xbox got the bug fixes. But it didn't get the... Uh, Inferno update that it was supposed to because on the PC version, uh, PC version, on the 360 version, from what I can understand, we were supposed to get everything from the 360 version, uh, from the PS3 version, but we didn't. Who knows? Maybe I'll go crazy with some kind of brain madness and we'll go through the uh, PS3 version afterwards. Well, not afterwards, but at some point in the future. 
Maybe we'll do that. I mean, this game literally cost me £1.76 for the limited edition. Remember when people collect limited editions of video games? They came in like steel boxes and stuff. I'm totally fucking lost here. And they failed to realize that these aren't actually limited editions. The only thing limited edition about this game is the fact that it's got limited edition like written on it. That's it. It's not actually limited in any way, shape or form. <sighs> that was a big thing during the 360 and PS3 days. Get your pre-orders in for your limited editions. Don't need to worry about the fact that we made 670 million copies of this <laughs> limited edition. Uh, funny enough, actually, there was a, a big thing a few years ago when uh, I, I'm, I'm in one of these collectors um, groups and there was an article printed, I can't remember where, this was quite a few years ago, where the standard edition of games, in some cases, oh, we've got to go down there. The standard edition of games in some cases are actually worth more than the limited edition because they made less of them. Right, I was looking for a corridor to go down. We're not going down a corridor. We're going down a flight of stairs. Oh, well, I guess our friend didn't get that far after all. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's push all of this over here. Okay, let's quickly run to these spotlights. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Now, see these little lights on the floor? We are going to run from them. Like, from here to them. Run! Okay. And then we're going to make our way to the next one. Charge! Oof. Okay. 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 Run! Run! Oh, fuck! I hate those things. They're probably the hardest part of the game. Hmm. Big open area, huh? Okay. Now, I mean, that's a pretty epic, serious looking terminal to be in a place like this. That looks really out of place. I'm just going I'm just saying. Hey, you, get over here. What get you over here. here like some lost fool. You want to go and get yourself killed? Is that the game plan? Everybody died so fast. Bang, just like that. You best find yourself some place to hide. I have no time for that. I'm looking for something. Like what? Room 943. Room 943? Why the hell are you looking for that? Nobody ever goes down that shit hole. Someone told me to go there. Who? Mr. Paddington? Yes. How would you know? He's practically the only one that ever visits it. You know him? Of course I do. Worked 15 years for him. Brilliant man. Could have had such a bigger career if he hadn't chosen to stay head curator at this dusty old museum. Anyways, what is in that room? Not a clue. You should have asked Mr. Paddington. It's almost like it became his second office these last years. Always down there working. Christ, come on. You shouldn't stay there in the open. Tell me, how do I get to the room? You can't. It's closed to the public. Listen, I'm not the public. Guess not. Thing is, you can't access it from where you are. This is the only door that leads there. So you're gonna have to come on my side of the gate first. Go down one level and through an underground tunnel. Use the forklift to go faster. Everything is digitally controlled around here. So you better hope that I'm still around when you come this way. Hmm. Cheers, buddy. I hope you don't get horribly murdered. Okay. Let's go. Um, ah, buttons. Yes, we like buttons. Wow. Something bad happened in here. So, forklift, he says. Interesting. And we're out of time again, apparently. Um, well, that's not good. Okay. 
Uh, well, that went about as well as to be expected, I suppose. Yep. Everything went to shit. Yes, we're going to go back out there. Right. So, guys, when we come back, uh, <laughs> we're going to go back into the room and hopefully try and find the security guard. Fingers crossed he hasn't been horribly murdered somewhere. Huh? 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 <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.